Good morning. Happy Wednesday. So I wanted to show you three ways that I focus on to get out of pain. In the last three months, I've had a situation with my neck. Um, I have three herniated discs, stenosis, all these other terms, and just causes me extreme pain or has caused me extreme pain down to my fingertips. So in the last three months, it's been a wave, right? We all have them. It could be pain. It could be a death in the family. It could be a loss of job. It could be any of the above. And so, oh, hello. I don't think it shows on yours, but it says hello. Um, so I've had my wave, right? But maybe not every day I've been able to use the vibration plate because of pain in my neck or shoulder or was you able to roll a certain way but as you keep pushing yourself and you're doing it a little bit and you're stretching those things get better if you don't ever do them then you're just not giving yourself those opportunities to get better so i wanted to pop on and show you three ways right so vibration plate is the first way the vibration plate i stumbled on because I had a good friend who had really back, bad back problems. I had super bad back problems at the time, and he highly suggested to use it. I was doing these 30-day challenges for myself anyway, and I said, you know what? I'm going to make it a 30-day challenge thing, and by the end of it, it was like I was looking for it. It became the place where I would just dance. It'd be the place where I could just stretch. Then it became the place where I could add to my workout, right? So... A vibration plate has three different main, in my head, ways to use it. Stretching, using a mat, right? Just getting on the mat, finding your pain, and I'll show you a little bit of what I do each day. Um, finding your pain and stretching every day. If you hear me, every day is, is the key to these things, you know, um, being consistent with it or trying to be as consistent and mindful. Um, and then the final way that I have been trying to get myself out of pain is using rollers, getting a massage. Um, you know, it, it could be the massage at the nail salon. It could be a medical um, uh, massage. You can use rollers that are different, right? Um, but using them is key and using them daily or as close to that as you can is most important. So I wanted to just show you some of the things that I've been doing for my neck and shoulder um, and what I do on here. I'm gonna make it quick because I wanna show you the other two. It has speed, it has a timing. Um, I'm not gonna crank it all the way up. I usually crank it all the way up, but just kind of getting back into this, I feel like there's times where I lower it. So that's where I'm keeping it. And then I stretch. I take 10 minutes at least on here and I stretch. I'm doing it a little bit faster than I would do it for myself. But now that I can do some of this again, trying to get back to it is super important. And then I grab on here, I lean back. Oh, that feels good. There's so many ways to use this thing. And this is just a stretch, right? I'm not, then if you leave it, my clients and friends leave it out in the kitchen and the kids start using it. Um, so it's good for everybody. There's a lot of benefits for your skin, for your organs for your blood, for your muscles, after workouts, before workouts. You know, you could also work out, like I said, and I'm not gonna do much because this is more of a stretch, but there's so many ways to use this. If you had a band on and coming down, right? Almost like a step. So anyway, this is one way 
that I use. I'll put the links below of two of them that I use. Um, this one's a little bigger and I like that. The other one's a little smaller, but it, it has different functions too. Um, and again, that goes for these, right? Before I do these, I don't wanna miss out on regular stretching because just stretching, I gotta make sure I'm in the picture, right? It's like, if you're not doing the simplest, I mean, there's, you can't say you can't do it or you can't say, you know, the only thing you could do is not make time. It's free. And all you got to do is move your body. Like that's how I started. I was like, all right, so what hurts me? Let me see. And this is before I became a trainer. Let me see what I can do to make it better. And then I do a stretch, go to YouTube, figure it out. Now I've added, and I do this daily, I bring it to my Zoom class that I teach every day. I'll put the link below if you're interested. But this is just simple stretching, and it's part of the workout that I do. I don't do cardio. Um, you know, through the last three months, I've been able to do my classes 98% of the time, maybe, no, 99% of the time. The days that I've had the shots or just a high point of, of pain, I've tapped out. But I can still move different, you know, using um, these simple resistance bands that you use when you go to PT are the ways that I've been able to stay fit. Most of the way that, you know, 80% is the food. So keeping that consistent has helped me and probably gotten me a little bit out of pain, but getting stronger because that's the 20% in my head, food is the 80%, getting stronger and staying in, in motion as we age because my goal really is to be out of pain and live the best life I can as I age. And so learning these healthy habits have help me, um, I believe, do these things. So that's why I share it with you. Um, and I wanted to just show you, again, I'm not going to do the whole routine, but I take 10 minutes. I go from stretching on here for a few minutes to, and I say 10, but I make sure I do it somewhere around there. And this gives me a a chance to roll out my muscles. And if you play around with two different types, there is also a longer roller, a rumble roller. I love rumble rollers. I sell rumble rollers and I believe in them because they have just helped me and anybody that uses them um, really feel the benefits too. This is a uh, peanut. And um, I can put the link there too. It's a company that um, is making their own. And I think it's really, it, it's, it's worked for me. I use it under my neck. I use this on my shoulder. You know, you, there's ways you can use this. So you can do it as simple as that, or you can add to it. I'm not going to push my shoulder today because I got chopped yesterday. Point is, through it all, I've been trying my best, not perfect, but trying my best to stay active in these things while I've been in this pain. Some days successful, some days harder than others. But, you know, doing these things so that I could maybe 1% get myself out of the situation that I was in and I feel that at this point, thank goodness, um, I am definitely on the compound effect of getting better. I've been throwing, drinking more water in as much as I can, taking my supplements. Um, you know, as a plant-based person, I don't know necessarily all the things I should be 
maybe adding to my diet. So one of the things I found was algae um, oil instead of fish oil. And for myself, I wanted to take the month and see if that helped my, you know, joints and my, my, you know, aches and pains and stuff that I have. So, you know, it's, it's changing that, changing my food, getting a blood test and realizing, well, maybe I have sensitivities to these foods. Let me take it out of my, my food choices for a little time and see if it makes a difference. You know, it's not limiting, you're making a choice. So um, just trying to do these things, going for traction, trying the epidurals, you know, I'm not a fan of traditional pharmaceutical medicine, but sometimes, you know, an anti-inflammatory or a muscle relaxer or something that you need to get yourself out of a place along with other things, because if you're not doing these things, then you're not even doing that for yourself. And to me, that's silly. So these things, like this is was a hundred and something dollar investment. I think these, you know, 50 bucks, you know, and you have it as long as you use it, right? So I wanted to just kind of come on since it's workout Wednesdays and I think fitness on, on Wednesdays and I'm hopefully back to my videos daily and trying to push not only myself in a direction, but all the other things that for the last three months I haven't been able to um, continue on with in a different way. And now with so much change in my life, this is, this is perfect for all the places to come together. So um, I hope that you have a great Wednesday and tune in tomorrow. Bye.